Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about Grok. So how the video will proceed is first I will briefly explain you what Grok is. And the next I will show you from where you can try. Now there are two different models in Grok chart. And next I will show you how to do the same thing in the Grok cloud. So as you can see here is same like OpenAI's playground. What I will be doing is taking the API keys and creating a simple application with Langchain. So here is the code and I will show you how we can do this. And at the end, we, we will be having a simple, let's say, chat UI using uh, Chainlit. And all our traces will be logged in Langsmith. That's all the thing that I'm going to explain. Let's get started. Okay, first thing first, what is Grok, right? As it is mentioned here also, Grok is on a mission to set the standard for Gen AI inference speed. Remember that they are not providing any training, but just the inference helping real old AI applications come to life today, right? So there are some of the FAQs, what is LPU inference engine? I hope you have heard about CPU, GPU, right? And TPU, but this is LPU, which is language processing unit. So this is the new uh, concept here. It is a new type of end-to-end -end processing unit system that provides the fastest inference for computationally intensive applications with sequential component to them such as AI applications, LLMs, right? Why is it so much faster than GPUs for LLMs and Gen AI? Uh, as you can see here, they have explained uh, all the different things. I'm not going to go through depth uh, in this particular topic, but I will provide you this link. But on a high level, what you can understand is this is a new processing unit that is mainly for real old AI applications. And the good part is I was just going through the about of space and I saw the guy who is CEO and founder. As you can see here, he has worked before with Google's uh, tensor processing unit, right? So you see how he is trying to do things in AI applications. I will provide you the link, go through this and get knowledge uh, for this yourself. Now, how to get into the uh, chat? Right, I will provide the link. The link is just grok.com, but you need to be logged in into this into this platform. Once you get logged in, as you can see here on the top, you can choose the models. They have now provided the Llama 270B4096 and Mixtrol 8 into 7B 32768, meaning that's the context uh, window, right? And yeah, these are the two models that you can choose. For example, I can choose the Mixtrol, for example, and I will just go here and say, okay, what is LPU? So as you can see here, LPU stands for license plate unique. You you see that this is uh, this is the LPU that I just mentioned you, but it does not know what is LPU because LPU is what they trying to provide, but this is using the model Mixtrol, and Mixtrol does not know what is LPU. But the the thing is not about what is the output the thing here is as you can see here the tokens per second is 502.54 uh, tokens per second this is the most inter interesting part that it is really fast and you can even see from this i thing here that okay what is the input token what is the output and what is the total time being taken if you want to go here and ask let's say other questions you can just go here i can say okay what is google as you can see here the answer is quite fast, right? It gets all the answers here. And on the top corner, there is also the thing called system prompt from where you can just change the prompt as you want, save it, and it will answer based on that. And also there is the settings from where you can change, of course, the speed, maximum tokens, temperature, top P, and top K. It's up to you how to do things. This is how you can, uh, let's say, use the uh, chat interface of Grok, right? Just go here and change the models. That's fine. Now I want to show you the playground. So the, the playground is, I'll provide again the link. You have to log in first. And the same thing that we just did in the chat UI, uh, you can just try it here. You can go here and choose the models you want. Now let me go with the Llama 2. 
and here is the temperature and if you go here advanced you can just uh, try around here and this is the user i'll just go here and see okay here is the explain the importance of low latency llms let me ask the same okay explain the importance of low latency llms that's it and now i need to submit here right i will submit this and you can see the inference it's quite fast and it says an inference to a 2024 millisecond tokens per second is 281 so you can just hover on top of this and get the answers you can see how how fast it is right and okay that is also the second part and the good part here of course same as in uh, openai's uh, playground or some other other llm providers uh, playground let's say there is this view code where you can just view the code in different languages and then just try it yourself uh, by installing grok that is one thing and other things it's just the normal uh, playground things you can clear this ask as many questions as you want that is the second part now the third part is i will show you how to create the api from here and use that api with langchain and chainly to create a simple applications right let's first go to the documentation here you can see that there are different things mentioned here and you can see there is langchain and llama index also i will show you the example of langchain in this case so yeah if you just want to use grok also it's mentioned here you can just install pip install grok same as openai and then just uh, use the normal chat completion things with just grok but Langchain Lama Index they help us to integrate different LLM providers or let's say the similar to Grok we can use OpenAI we can use Olama and all the different things right so they are the frameworks where we can plug in different uh, providers so yeah just go through this documentation if you want but first I will go here and create the API key if you go to the API keys and by the way one thing that I noticed is that if you go to the about Grok page and if you go api ss it says here that the price is this but i saw that when i create the api keys there is nowhere i can i can provide my credit card credentials it's just providing me to create the api keys i go to the api keys i have already created the api keys i can of course delete this i can go go ahead and delete that's gone i will create a new api key and i will just give this okay langchain and I will do summit. It will show me the API key. I will copy this. I'm showing you this because I'm going to delete anyway after the video. Okay, now we have our API key. How can we now use this in an application, right? I have already the GitHub repository. If I go to my GitHub page, there is Langchain Grok Chainlit. So what you can do is follow the readme file, but I will just, you can just go here and just go to SSS or HTTPS and copy this repository, right? I will go to my terminal i will go anywhere in the project so i will just do git clone and then this right so it is cloning the repository so i will go inside this langchain grok grok chainlit and what what is the thing that we need to do let me just follow this documentation here right i have provided all the necessary things here just first we need to create a virtual environment right so for that i will just go here and run the same code and the virtual environment is going to be created and the next thing is if you want to have the lang smith traces you can go to this lang smith website i have created many videos in lang smith please refer to that if you are new so you, we need to provide in the in the env file so but before that what i will do is now i will open this in a vs code just to show you in more let's say clearer way so here is the code i will just show you the readme file here open preview so yeah this we did right and the cloning part of course we already did this and this is the thing that i was talking about but for this as you can see here there is example.env but what we need to do is we need to copy example.env to .env right i will go to the terminal and here I will just to cp example.env to env. So when I do this, as you can see, it is reflected here. I will go inside this. And here, as you can see here, I have already provided this um, 
in points here which is all, always the same and here I need to provide the grok API key here I need to provide the langchain project right this is what I have already created the langchain project if I go here so this is the grok langchain but I need to have the API key again here also right I have already created before but let me go and create again I will copy this I will go to my VS code and in this lang chain part I will do control V and also I copied the API key from here but I didn't paste right I will copy this grox API key I will go to VS code and here as you can see I have written the grox uh, API key I will just save this so that's all for the environment variables part right once this is done what we can do next is install the necessary packages what is the packages as you can see here there is langchain grok langchain and chainlit so what i will do is go to the terminal and then install pip install requirements.txt that's it and what do we have in the python file now because if i go to readme that's all and we can run the python file that's it right but if i go to the actual page here what i'm doing here is normal import things if you have followed my previous videos it's almost the same the new thing that I did is I take this chat grok from langchain grok and then just provided that uh, here as you can see here model is chat grok and I use the uh, model from from their website and other things are the same as you can see here nothing changed one line of code chains does all the thing and in chainlit you don't need to import uh, the environment variables because it takes directly from .env the last thing that we can do now if i go to the readme.md is just copy this command and run the applications right i will do control c go to the terminal here and then i will just do chainlit run langchain grok chainlit.py i will run enter so now it is loading the environment variables and yeah this is our good looking ui from here we can ask the questions i have already asked some questions before i will go here and i will say okay what is twitter let me see and as you can see here the inference is quite fast right and also if i go here and say okay what is 2 plus 3 simple math okay the answer is 2 plus 3 is 5 by the way the answer is coming from the model right mixed troll but you can see how fast this grok is and also you can go here and maybe say something which uh, it does not know maybe let's see what is open ai does it knows or not it would be interesting okay what is open ai and it is going to provide us okay open ai is a research organization co-founded by elon Musk, sam and others focused on advancing okay that's great right you can now go ahead and ask as many questions as you want and you can now already compare how how the inference is compared to other different things we use olama also in my previous video you can use open ai google anthropic whatever there are try with this grok it is quite fast right just go here and try and the good thing here now is i told you that there is a traces in langsmith right if i go to the langsmith website i will go to the projects and this is the project i use grok uh, lang uh, chain as you can see here it is showing all the traces that i asked in that particular chainlit ui so if i go inside this I can see all the different things that it is here as you can see here this is the equation this is the answer and you can even go inside this and you can see this you can provide the feedback there is the metadata things you can even go to the playground from here you can add to the data set all the different things if you want to know in depth please watch my Langsmith video I have explained in depth in this particular topic so yeah that's all for this video i hope you get the idea now how to use let's say grok and how to use the models which is available in the groks now it is free just give a try and as you as i showed you also in the api ss part this is the price uh, they are going to provide but this is also in a way cheaper compared to other providers just give a try and let's let's see what they they will be providing in the in the near future if you have any questions feel free to ask that in the comment section and also if you want me to create some videos in some topics please let me know other than that thank you for watching and see you in the next video